Hey everybody, my name is Old School Nerd. It's still Napalm A to Z, and uh, we're still in the bees. And sometimes people ask me, like, Old School Nerd, you're a child that was born in the 70s, you grew up in the 80s, and you got to see all that amazing Southern rock stuff, and, and Janis Joplin, and Creedence Clearwater Revival, and, and then you got to, Mariah Heap, and all these classic rock bands of the 70s and 80s, and that Southern, just gritty rock style, you know? and there's no bands like that around here anymore. Are you sure? It's time for reaction. Hey everybody, my name is Old School Nerd. Check us out on OldSchoolNerd.com. It's got all the social media posts. The Patreon link for those who want to help support the channel. We appreciate every single one of you. And the merchandise store. Okay, listen up, guys. Um, yeah, as I said, I'm a child that grew up in Southern Rock. You know? Everything from Janis Joplin to Mariah Heap and everyone in between. You had a Southern groove, that classic just rock style. And it progressed through the 80s and got into the 90s with bands like the Black Crows. Right? You guys kind of remember that feeling? Nirvana had a little bit of it in there. Maybe some garbage. And then even into the 2000s with Queens of the Stone Age, right? It's that feel, that style, but everyone's like, man, that's kind of a lost feel, isn't it? No. All you gotta do is get on an airplane, fly to Belgium. Or, if you're in Europe, take a train, go to Belgium. It's the Black Mirrors. Yep, Napalm made a Z. We're in the bees, and this one is called Lay My Burden Down. All I had to do is go, hey, what kind of band is this? And my entire feed goes, and it's just the list of the classic rock bands and sounds. They're female fronted, so they kind of have that Janus feel, but at the same time, it's just, it's just aggressive. It's gritty. If you're looking for something refined, this is not the wine for you. It's a shot of whiskey in your face. Let's check this out. I'm excited. Let's do this. Obligatory old school nerd beginning of the song stop. That literally sounds like Mariah Heap. If you don't know who Mariah Heap is, it's okay. You just weren't, didn't live in the 70s. And I was just a little toddler, but I remember hearing that groove. Dun, 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 it's just a classic American gritty rock style. Which is funny because Mariah Heap's not from the United States. But man, this groove style blew us away here in the United States in the 70s. They, we loved it. We ate it up. Yeah, so Mariah Heap. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling when I hear this. That's just the intro. I'm telling you. If you want to know what classic rock, that feel, that gritty feel felt like, this is it. Right now. Current. Touring. With albums. On Napalm. <laughs> Ah, I'm feeling 10 again. Sitting, no, no, sitting in my stepbrother's room, you know, and I'm, I'm playing with my G.I. Joes because that's what you do when you're eight. And I'm a 10, a, a, 10, 12, you know, playing with my G.I. Joes and stuff. And then he was playing his records and he had Creedence Clearwater Revival on there, right? A little Rolling Stones, some Mariah Heap, some Rush. It's like that. That's how I feel right now. I hear this and I'm, I'm, I'm immediately, I just, I go back 35 plus years and I'm just like, oh, I'm home. It's a childhood memory, man. Black mirrors are bringing it to me all the way from Belgium. That's a good thing.
<laughs> I love this. I love this. I love this. Okay, this is not something that I'm gonna, you're gonna go see at a walk-in festival with 100,000 people. And if you do, awesome for them. I would love, it would be great to see them on a stage that big. But I wanna hear them in a small venue where it's echoey and, and the resonance is like shit and the harmonics are crappy and they're just blaring with distortion and your, your hands are in the air and the crowd's just, ah. Oh. That's where this band is at home. And I love this stuff. Oh my God. I can, I can literally, I can hear that drummer just walking on those toms. Don't, 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 don't. It's, ah. Uh. This is when rock was rock. This was when rock just didn't care. This was when rock said, you know what? We're going to write a song and we're going to tear it up. And everybody in the club is going to be drunk and probably high. And at the end of the day, we're just going to kick the doors down. We're lucky if the building doesn't fall on our heads. And we don't care if the neighbors get pissed about it. They just don't have, they just don't have things like that anymore. Well, apparently they do. God, I love this so much. Oh, this is the kind of thing, you know, you can just, you, man, on the boat, backyard, on the grill, doing some yard work, hanging out, playing games with the kids outside. I could play this for my mom, for Mimo. Look, my Mimo and pal, oh, they'd be like, who is this? They, they'd start naming American rock artists. I'm like, nope, they're from Belgium. Yep, like waffles. That's a hell of a bridge. I've been doing videos about all these bands in Germany and in Western Europe that are taking musicianship up to that rush level, but making it metal and how much we love that stuff. And if Fractal Universe and, you know, if Fractal Universe and, and Orbit Culture and, and a lot of these bands are, are just taking up that, you know, that space of musicianship, this band is just bare bones, guitar bass oh guitar's got a little distortion in it but not too much other effects bass is just straight up drums are john bottom with with no effects in them they're just let's just blow them out and a raw raspy voice that just makes you want to dance here's the thing i love <laughs> as much as i love all the reactions to the stuff i do for napalm where it's way over the top technical and everything else there's just something about this this is the kind of band that you could go and just, they could open up for anybody. 
Could you imagine if this band from Belgium opened up for Unleash the Archers? Think about that. This band just gets up there and they're just rocking and rolling. The crowd's just dancing and jumping. And all of a sudden, Unleash the Archers comes out and plays some over-the-top crazy metal stuff. And you're just like, it's just getting better. Right? This band could make any show awesome. Any show. I mean, they, they could open up for Kiss and everybody would be like, hey, that was, that was really, really good. Oh, look, it's Kiss. <laughs> Just saying. All right. The name of the band is Black Mirrors. The song is Lay My Burden Down. Holy crap. Oh, man. It's hard to even tell you how happy I am. My mouth hurts right now because I smiled the whole way through. No, this is childhood for me, guys. This is this is the stuff I grew up on. So whenever I, I hear something that reminds me, come on, when you when you smell something from a kitchen that reminds you of your mother or your grandmother or your grandfather, them baking something or cooking something that brings back a childhood memory, you just get happy. You smell like oh, that's what this song did for me. Black mirrors. Thank you very much. Today's being really really good, right? We're hitting all the boxes. Man, Napalm A to Z. Apparently, there's a lot of really good bands in the Bs. Let's do another one. <laughs>